Good evening. We have disturbing new details tonight about the policeman at the centre of a violent arrest in Strathpine. Queensland's police commissioner has launched an ethics investigation. But Katerina Carroll is standing by the officer's actions, admitting they were confronting but understandable. Heavy-handed or just an officer doing his job? He needs to stop. Hey. What is he doing? Hey! You can't do that! A crash in Strathpine turning violent when a lone policeman was called. Oh, the cop has gotten in the car. Oh, oh, I'm videoing this. The guy was drunk and he pulled out a wine bottle from his car and threw it at the cop. And then the cop was just throwing punches at him. And then fired a taser. Oh, I found it very confronting. It was volatile. Um, there were angry scenes there. But the police commissioner says she understands the senior constable's use of force. When you have a highly volatile situation and you are on your own, you are calling for backup, you are being spat at, You've had a wine bottle thrown uh, and the situation can escalate very, very quickly. For Bruce Rowe, watching this violent video is like reopening a painful wound. He hasn't learnt much in the last 18 years. I was disgusted. Rowe says the same officer punched him in 2006. It's surprising to me that, uh, that this fellow is still doing the same thing. He should, he should have been uh, expelled from the police force, but he wasn't. He was also one of the officers named in a police harassment case against former bikini model Renee Eves. The officer isn't working today, but the police commissioner says he could be stood down pending an investigation by the Ethical Standards Command that's now underway. Part of the assessment that will be done will also look at the officer's history and what was involved in the past. That driver tonight remains in hospital under police guard but still hasn't been charged. The investigation will also look into why he was able to keep his job after those past incidents. The Commissioner says she would like it overseen by the Crime and Corruption Commission. Jordan Bissell reporting there.